No big guy. You want to get over here? No, I didn't. Too tall, huh? It's too tall, or Carlos is too short. <laughs> There's a problem, but I don't know which one it is. Um, I'm gonna say it's not loud. I wasn't gonna name it. <laughs> yeah, the cow's too tall. That's what I said. Where are you going, Rubes? Ruby done left us. Ruby has left the building. Filling the feeder back up. Why are you acting weird? He's so weird. He's so weird. Make sure she's open good enough. This wind is fierce. This wind is stupid, Cody. Yeah. I'm sorry, he's so weird, y'all. Are you scared? It's just sliding, weirdo. Oh. I need to get up further before you do it. What? back in the house so I can start supper. They're gonna tie that off and put the rest of it in the barn so we can feed the barn animals. So y'all keep branching, see you in a little bit. All right, Clance, what are we doing today? All right, guys, so today, <laughs> all right, so we're gonna put some portable panels from the steer pen to that post over there so we don't have to mow this because we're kind of lazy and we're just gonna let the, the sheep mow it down for us. So what's dad doing right now? So dad's loading up some hay so that we don't have to, so that so the sheep don't eat it really. And we're gonna put some, we're gonna put some panels around it too so that they can't get to it. Awesome, all right, well y'all come along and watch. about that one. You want help? Uh-huh. Can we help you carry it now? Go down there? Lift it up. I can't get this one undone. 
Here, I'll try to get this and you try to get it out. Try to get this out. I, I, what are you doing? Oh, lift that up? Yeah. It's a good idea. <laughs> uh, you're so smart. Wait a second. You have to lift up on this just a bit. You see that? Yeah. I wonder why it's like that. Is this what you wanted to do today? I thought we were having a rest day. That's what we had yesterday. No, we didn't. We were on our feet for three hours or more. Have you ever done this before? It hurts. Quit being a sissy. Say la la. Wait a second. Flip it back this way. Go. Oh, I guess I could help you, huh? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Is that going to pick up yet? I bet he did a great job. Um, Bob, don't don't go under that wire. Just go right around the steel post. All you gotta do. Yes, sir. Um, so some of the cows that we take care of, the owner bought this load of alfalfa, and, and he couldn't unload it at his place because he couldn't get an eighteen wheeler in there. So we unloaded it here. But instead of shredding this and just wasting this grass, I'm gonna run our sheep in here and. and we're gonna put about 80 ewes in here with some lambs and make them graze it down real quick. And, but I don't want them eating this hay, so we're gonna take these old panels here that we had in the steer pen before we rebuilt it this summer and close this hay off where they can't get to it. And then we're gonna take some of our portable panels and make a temporary fence across there so that we can shut them in this little old spot here for a little while, a couple days until they mow it down. So hang on, we need to, Move this first. Look out, girls. Where are we moving it? We're going to try to move this to yours. You ready? To mine? Yep. On three. One, two, three. Whoa, hold up. You got to get it out of the dirt. Oh. Can, can you get it over where you can chain them? Or you need some help. I need some help because I can't pick it up on this. All you gotta do is move the bottom now. There you go. Get it off. Here, I'll come help you. I can't do it unless I have both hands on both sides. So I can like squat it basically. Like if you squat it? No, so I can, basically I'll just squat it to pick it up. All right, chain that up. That's how I usually do it. So these are, most all of our lots, our cow pens, stuff in the barn and all that is made out of this continuous fence. When Clance get this chained, I'll, and I'm gonna let go of it, I'll show you what I'm... So we buy these, it's this one, two, three, four, five rails, and it's, I think these are 20 foot long is what they come when you buy them. And then we welded these ends on them to make a big, a big portable panel, basically. Um, and then we put that, that 
panel on there to keep the sheet from going through it. So um, it's kind of working good for us. Now, if everything works right, I need to go change it back real fast. Well, I got a piece of wire on it. Oh. We should be able to do that right there. And the sheep can't get into it to eat it. And it'll be protected. Wow, that's terrible. Hope you cut that out. Erica's got a grimace on her face right now. But, all right, and then we'll get this. Clance gets that chained up. So what have y'all been doing this whole time? Stretching? We've been working while you was eating dinner. Y'all have two panels up the whole time I've been gone for like an hour. We done fixed the flat on the hay trailer. Stacked all them panels over there. How y'all going to get this out of here if you're putting up putting up a panel fence right now? We're going to hook a truck up to it. But why didn't y'all do that before you did Every all this? Four? Every third one, maybe. Every third one. Why didn't y'all move it yet? Because my tractor won't pick it up, and I'm not going to hook it up to the pickup yet. Because Carlos is going to hook it up and leave the cattle trailer to haul the bull with tomorrow. Oh, so he's going to take that with him? Yep. Oh. Today? Mm-hmm. Cool. What's he supposed to do? You better go grab the steel post driver. Got it. Where's it at? In the shop? Yep. I'll walk over here and get some steel post. You can do it every third and see what happens. That's what I think we should do. Who's doing the driving? That's what I want to know. Well, Clarence is going to start. We'll see how it goes. Put your foot at the bottom to keep it straight. All right, go ahead. This thing's bent. Hey, keep it straight. Look. Look. Move for a second. Let me show you. You got to keep the teeth straight. Go ahead, it's just holding a little panel fence there. Hey, hey, you want to drive your post straight this way and this way. Go ahead. Your turn, this is too loud. No, and hey, you're not pulling down to drive, you're letting the weight of this drive. So you're, it's up. <laughs> You pull a little bit, but you're not really pulling a bunch. All the way up. There you go. Hey, you're not letting go. You're pulling down some, but you're... He's you're... all the way up. Okay, go. Go, go up. <laughs> you're not moving any. What? You're not moving any. What's not moving any? The post ain't. It ain't going down, though? No, you're not hitting it. Get this. Okay, this show me there, big boy. See that? I went down right, Get your area. post driver off first so we can For get going. Sure. Oh, it's the wrong side. I'll get my own thing. Y'all want me to help you? No. I want to make this a gate. Oh. We need to tie that down there. We need some tie wire, Mom, to tie that panel up. Where do you want me to get it from? Where's it at? Is that roll of tie wire in the barn, in the shop, Bub? Yes, sir. It's in the... Wait, what do we need? What? What? He wants me to go get his big red, but I'm not. In the 47,000 times he's asked me, he could walk over there. No, you're not. You're holding up a panel that doesn't even need to be held up. It will stand up on its own. That's 
gonna fall over. Okay, show us how you, how do you do this, Dad? How do you tie? Well, we're just gonna go around it. And I feel like a pro with this. You can twisted. be a fence welder. Thanks. You're a force of nature. I'm not worried about the bottom. It ain't going nowhere. You're a force of nature. You know it. To stand it up. Huh? You're a force of nature. Thanks. That's what my church says. This is not along the line. Much better. Much better. You get it up there. Why no? Why no? This is going to be a little temporary gate. This is a temporary gate? Yeah. Alright. Alrighty. Temporary. I got gotcha. you. Swing that back over there so we'll know where to line this right. other one up. About there. This one don't even touch the ground. It's alright, because it's a gate. <laughs> it's because it's a gate, Clance. Come um, on now. That one's all bent in. Yep. Maybe it'll work. Pull probably because I stood on it. Huh? What? What did you say? Probably because I stood on it. You sat on it? Stood on it. Take it past it, bub. About there. We can straighten it out there. Quit pushing it over. Oh. Can't find good help around here, Can't huh? Can't find good help, that's for sure. So really, I wasn't pushing it over, I was putting it straight. What is it? Dang beef jerky? Uh -huh. High priced expensive beef jerky? <laughs> yeah, I just keep it on the side. You're weird. <laughs> You're weird. You didn't even have it in a bag, you just had it in your pocket. Yeah. That's weird. <clears throat> Post driver, where's it at? Look out, it is. Ready? Yep. I'm ready. Oh. Alright, let's put a steel post in there. I'll get the steel post Go driver. Do y'all just like to fight and argue the whole time? Pretty much. Just... Oh, uh, there we go. Hey. So we got three different kind of panels. We got three different kind of panels, but two of them work together. Alma, what you doing up there, old I don't think this is going to reach. What are doing, old Alma? You don't. No. You got another panel somewhere? Huh? You got another panel? It's not going all the way to the fence. I know, but it has to go to that deal. Do you know how wide your barn is? No. All right. We got. got 40, we got 30 foot of panel counting this one. Right. And we only need to go 24. Down. Oh man, I don't know if we're gonna make it. It's not gonna make it. Not gonna make it, Mom says. Not gonna make it 20 feet. How, how long is the panel? Oh, there's. I thought there's only one left. Oh, well. There's an old. I got it, Bob. I want y'all to do the old pivot, pivot while y'all are doing it. What is that? Oh, my gosh. That off of? It's all friends when they're moving the couch down the stairs. I've never seen that. Down the stairwell. It's Ross and. What's his face? I don't know if we're going to make it, Clance. Okay, now y'all are just being smart, Alex. Six foot left. And can you move? Can you bring the whole thing? You get on the other side and bring the whole thing. I can pick the whole thing up, Dad. Okay, but if you get on, there you go. You want to carry it by yourself? Pivot, pivot. Thank you.
That was hilarious. Are you making fun of me here, Delson? Huh? <laughs> he did the Cody Archie walk. You know, what? you just locked us all in, right? Oh. He walked just like you. What's the Cody Archie walk? I don't know. What that he is. just walked just like you. It's funny. How are you gonna keep that on there? Just like that. Clancy's gonna put a chain around the bottom. Oh yeah, good idea. And it ain't going nowhere. Boys, y'all just built a fence. We just got a temporary fence up. You don't have a steel post over here. I don't want to drive one in my yeah pad right here. But if we we tie I'll that off that. over there, huh? Yeah. Right. Over. Jump over. I gotta grab a chain. I want it to fall over on me. I got it. Just making sure I'm a big old boy. He's a big old boy, he says. What else we got to do today? Move the sheep over here, and then Carlos is bringing a bull that he wants us to take to the river. We're going to have to run up there and brand him and ear tag him before we take him tomorrow after church. What kind of bull? I believe he's a Hereford. Where'd he come from? I have no idea. Oh. Did he own him or did I he buy him? He owns him. We're taking him to the river for him. I'm saying, did he already own him or did he buy him today or this week? I don't week? think he purchased him today now. Okay. You're, you're asking questions I do not know the answer to. Okay, well, you usually know stuff. I was just asking. I'm just answering. I can't stand you. <laughs> I do not want to go. Much. I do not want to go on a date. I don't know. I didn't ask you okay, on a date. Okay, good. Can I cut yeah, it with just, my cut, just cut it with your new pig, sti pig sticker. Now. New big sticker. Oh, here. Show, show the folks on YouTube what you got. Picked that up yesterday at the Blade, Blade show. show Fort Worth. We did not YouTube yesterday. T-Bone, Travis Payne, T-Bone Customs. If y'all are looking for a pig sticker, he's got some nice ones. We went to Fort Worth, went to the Blade Show, stopped and ate some food, went to Northern Tool, and came home last night. I ate at Joe T. Garcia's. If you're ever in downtown Fort Worth there and you're looking for a good place to eat, you can go to Joe T. Garcia's. It was it's got good. good food. Stockyards. In the stockyards. That's not downtown? I guess not. Well, downtown's where the convention center is. All right. I guess. I mean, that's what I call it. Well, that go around that pipe. That go around the pipe. What pipe? The bottom pipe of the panel. Oh. There you go. Don't, don't get your finger in there. What else did y'all get at the blade show? Y'all got some knife materials? We got some handle material. We need a piece of that wire. I can, I can run a piece of that wire through there and tie this off. Got we got hand some handle material, some really cool handle material. We also yeah. got some, I guess that's really all we bought was handle material. Yeah. And Bob got a knife. I won. Erica found a, a maker that she really liked one of his knives, so she'll probably get a knife from him. Is there something in the back, Bob? I got so. a cool. Okay. I didn't get anything. Yeah, Clance got a. No, yes, you did. You got some handle material. Um, Elliot Maldonado from what is this? EFM Knives, I yep, think. Yeah, EFM Knives. Gave Clance a piece of blade material for him to work on his. What What are you supposed to work on on that? Grinding. Grinding file and, and file work on the spine. I'm going to put a black, black sensitive handle on it. Is so that what you call it? Yep. So we'll work on that. Who and else did we see down there? Tanner we, Couch. We saw Tanner Couch who made the knife that y'all probably seen me use a lot here. This Tiffany blue handled knife with my brand on it. We actually got some of that handle material too. We actually did get some of this handle material to put on some knives of Clancy's. We also got to see uh, Bert. Flanagan. Flanagan, who works for Paragon Ovens, but he's also a guild member in the in the, a Texas guild member in the Knife Makers Guild, and uh, he's the one that sold Clancy his oven for Par from Paragon. So we got to sit, visit a little with Bert and see him. So had a good time. Got to meet some new people. Went to the to Paragon booth too. Huh? We got to go to the Paragon booth. Got to go to the Paragon booth. Um, we got to go to Maker Material Supply. Which we or, we have ordered a lot of handle material and stuff like that from them. Um, All of it mainly. And we walked by there and saw it, and we were looking through some stuff, and happened to get the owner happened to walk out and shake hands with us, and come to find out we didn't know this until we saw him there at the show. But he actually graduated with Erica. We knew he graduated with Erica, but we didn't know he owned Maker's Material Supply. And uh, his older sister was in my graduating class, so small world we never even knew that we'd been doing business with people that we went to high school with so 
um, it was a good deal. We had a good time. So, well, now we're going to make sure all the sheep are out of this pasture, which it looks like they all are. There was some in the corner down there. I don't know if they're still down there. Did they come out? No, there's a handful down there. So we're going to have to bring the buggies in, get the defender, and we'll go around them and push them out into the front pasture. Then we're going to shut the gates up, and then I'll probably use my pickup and we'll call all the sheep into this pasture and then bring them through these gates into here where we can, we're gonna shut them up in here for a couple of days and let them graze this down instead of shredding, shredding it. There's no reason to shred it when we can graze it. Let them chomp it. Let them, we're gonna intensify the grazing right here. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. We are gonna have to go get a few more panels though. So what are you doing right now? So now, this creep feeder's got some feed in it, so instead of trying to fix that where the ewes don't, can only get to the water trough, I think we're just going to suck, suck them in here. The lambs that are small enough can still get in here and, and eat on this creep feed, and then the ewes can go in there. They'll spend most of their time in there because that's where all the grass is. And if we need to shut them up in there, we can do that in a day or two if we have to. I need to straighten this. So button. you're putting the bars in. Oh, sorry. So that oh, the lambs can come in here and eat once yeah. these bars are in, but the, the ewes can't get in there. Right. We had it. We had all the bars out because we just had Clancy had our weaning ewes in here, and they can all just go back and forth as they please. But I don't want all those big ewes in here because they'll just get in here and eat this feed all up in no time. But if we fix it like this, then maybe just the lambs will get in there. Last time we tried this, they are able to get in here and move these bars and jerk them out. Yeah, some of the ewes push can, them out. If they fight, they'll mess with it and get the bars out. But we're gonna we're gonna take some zip ties and zip tie around that real tight, so maybe they can't turn it and get it to raise up. If they can't get it to raise up, then they won't be able to get out, get the pins out. So. Are you gonna have them all? No. How many are you missing? No. Oh, okay. I thought we, for some reason, I thought we were missing one. All right. We should have put love in there before you did that. Yep. You might think that this is pretty small, which it is, but a pretty good sized lamb, a 40, you know, about a 40 pound lamb can still squeeze through there once they figure out that there's feed in there and get in there to eat. So, um, All right. they can still get in there. All right, well, let's get to work on that. All right, we're zip tying. Let's see if this will work. Let's see who beats, who wins. It's a race, bub. Yeah, it is. You better win. We got, Dad's on his sixth one. Sixth? Yeah. I'm sure he is. You better hurry up. He's on the sixth one over there. You need to go, try to go to the edge of it. Other side, corner. Oh, seventh. Who's it going to be? You think you're going to win, Dad? As long as it's done right, I don't care who wins, Eric. Oh, my gosh. Why can't we just have some friendly competition? He's got two to go. One to go. Dad, you just better come on over on this side and help Bub. Good job, Dad. Maybe that'll work. Will it work? Try to comment and tell us if you think that'll work or not. What'd you say? I had one right in the middle. 
You can hardly get it. Oh, really? Huh. I guess if we're going to have to use it, look and make sure that's not in there. If it ain't, we're going to build a fire to. All right, what are you boys doing now? Well, Carlito can't find his electric branding iron, so we're going to have to build a fire and use the. Use the fire one. This is not normally how I would do this. I just had this for about six months in the shop, so I'm gonna use this to get it started. Douse that good with some juice there, bud. Juice? Juice it. I think they're having fun with this. All boys like starting fires. Nala, come here. Come here, Nala. Dose it good. I think that means use the whole bottle. I'm That's out. good. That's good. All right. Try not to get it on yourself. I'll be all right. I'll light on fire. All right. Maybe. Stop, drop, and roll. Y'all even practice that anymore? At school? Yeah. Yeah, we did the other day. Yeah, right. What? I don't believe you. Houston, we have a fire. <clears throat> it done climbed up the hill. We don't use it anymore. One day whenever I buy some land around here, some yeah. more land, you know, to add on to this place, yeah. it's all going to be connected. We're going to have to use that because I'm going to have 18 wheeler loads of sheep coming in. I'm going to have a double decker trailer. That's what I want. Double decker. I hate that one. Okay. All right, you ready? Okay, so this is a branding iron I made for Carlos a few years ago for Christmas. So this unscrews here. You turn it around. And it screws back in. So it's longer? So it's longer so you can use it. And your handle doesn't get as hot. Your handle ah. doesn't get hot. Smart. Will that hook up now? that in a little bit in case he tries to lay down, reckon. Get back, Nala. Easy, come here. Get over here. Oh, I didn't. I don't want to hit it. <laughs> Tuck him over.
too tall, huh? It's too tall or Carlos is too short. <laughs> There's a problem, but I don't know which one it is. Um, I'm going to say it's not <laughs> hey, hey. I wasn't going to name it. <laughs> Mark, yeah, the cow's good. too tall, that's what I said.